Hey everybody, welcome to Burtech. In this episode, I'm going to be talking about how Elon Musk just put in a bid to buy all of Twitter. All right, welcome back. So this is a very interesting development here. Elon Musk had recently purchased some shares in Twitter or about 9% and now he's decided to offer $43 billion cash to take over Twitter here. Now this is something that's really interesting because Elon Musk and Twitter have kind of a uh, kind of a rocky past, but nevertheless, uh, this statement probably uh, uh, probably makes it here. So Twitter has the extraordinary potential and I will unlock it. Musk said that. Now, I think this is actually a really good thing. Now I know that Elon Musk is kind of a controversial character here, but the thing about Elon Musk is that he really does know technology and uh, Tesla's probably one of the best companies to model after. Now I know, I know that uh, the evaluation of Tesla and its stock price again is controversial, but one of the things that you need to understand about Tesla is that they iterate very well and they really do a good job. And I would say that Tesla is the, the company that, uh, of the of the 21st century, it really is. It not only it not only is it making electric cars, it's making rocket ships, uh, and this the news is actually a huge problem here because one of the big problems with news is that you can get two different people going to two different sources and getting two completely different data sets and completely different opinions and rarely do these opinions mix. However, on Twitter, there is more mixing. And the one thing that I'll talk about later is that we haven't even got into deep fakes yet. And I think Elon Musk, knowing how he knows technology so well, will actually stop this problem before it even starts here. So if, if, this, is, if this works out, and it works out the way that it probably should, is that Twitter can be the place where you get to the source of the news and you get at least the truth as much as possible. Because if some people are talking about a bunch of things that's completely incorrect, and, and this goes for any kind of situation here, then guess what? Perhaps Twitter will be that filter to say what is correct and what isn't. And there's a lot of ways that they can do this. And I think Elon Musk has figured it out. And that's why I think it's a really good idea for Elon Musk uh, to do it here. Now, what he also said is that this is the best and final offer here. They should absolutely take this, in my opinion. Now, Musk has had some issues with Twitter and he's had some issues with the SEC because he said Tesla stock is too high and then it, it drops here. And so as you can see, um, so if, if he does do this, um, then a lot of things might happen here. So uh, Donald Trump might come back to Twitter, but he might enforce the rules in a very egalitarian way. Because like the thing is, is that Twitter can sometimes arbitrarily silence some people and that's probably not good. So free speech is kind of a cornerstone of Western democracies. It's a good thing that you should be able to speak your mind about certain things. However, if you're spewing nonsense, right, you still have the right to do it, but people should know that it's nonsense or disproven, right? And there's a lot of things like that. Now, I'll give you a really good example here. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of YouTube channels that claim that, you know, the pyramids were like ancient alien landing strips or something like that, or, you know, they weren't used as tombs or something like that. But, you know, a lot of Egyptologists think they probably were tombs, right? And they have a lot of inscriptions here. And so like, that's kind of like a, a thing that doesn't really matter, right? Like, you know, the pyramids, yes, are absolutely amazing. But, you know, at the same time, though, the, you know, the the people that lived at the time probably made it, right? And a good example of this is like, you can see, like in ancient Egypt, there's these kind of like holes in rocks, and it looks like a drill has made them. But, you know, there's another YouTube channel out there that shows that shows you how you could have made that drill hole with tools of the time. And so what's interesting is that the the views for the, uh, hey, ancient Egyptians had power tools versus, hey, I can actually uh, make this, uh, this, uh, this rock boring uh, with tools that the ancient Egyptians had. Now, of course, like this doesn't really matter, right? Like, you know, it's, it's cool though. And, you know, the thing is, is that again, the misinformation of ancient Egyptians had power tools has more views than the person using the, the hand tools that they actually had at the time, right? So something like that, you know, like if, if someone's saying, hey, guess what? You know, ancient Egyptians had power tools, 
perhaps Twitter will find it in their algorithm to post like the video that is going to get debunked. Now, let's talk a little bit about deepfakes here. Now, deepfakes, if you don't know, are it was where you use machine learning to swap somebody's face, right? So I could swap Elon Musk's face for the Statue of Liberty, or you know, um, I could swatch it for Barack Obama, George Bush. I could swap anybody's face onto Elon Musk here. And the video technology could get so good that you could get, let's say, a head of state, let's say the president of the United States, to say a bunch of things that aren't true. And and that's a huge problem because if someone is saying if someone is saying something that's not true and it looks just like a real video then that needs to be an issue so a way that they, this can be solved is with blockchain technology and we know that elon musk loves his blockchain technology so at the same time when it comes to this kind of stuff twitter might be the best place to debunk deep fakes and this is why i'm really excited for elon musk right if elon musk has the technology to make sure that, you know, people can speak their mind, but if they're incorrect and there's evidence, a ton of evidence to, to debunk that person, then that can be perhaps filtered towards the top here. And so out of all the people in the world, he's probably one of the better ones to, to, to buy this here because he's done such a good job with Tesla that I, th I think I think it's, it's really good. And it might even be a good buy in the future here. I wonder if it will merge into Tesla stock. That's kind of an interesting thing if that does happen. And so if you do own Tesla stock, then that might be a good thing. So the other thing is that he's proposed a lot of really good uh, reforms here because Twitter has always been kind of a weird company. It, it, it doesn't really have a good path to profitability. And sometimes you, uh, the founders can have a good idea, but someone else can take it to the next level. And I think that's probably the case with Twitter here. You have a good idea, you, you have someone else to take it to an entirely new level. And I think Elon Musk is the person to do that here. So in conclusion, it's possible that Twitter could be the place where people are that are all over the political spectrum can go to get a new source and discuss things. They could hopefully do that in a more uh, a civil way, but they could they can get the truth at least more than the the news media outlets, right? And if that is the goal for Elon Musk, then it's probably a good idea. So that concludes this video. I want to know your thoughts down below. Is this a good idea? And will it uh, be good if? Twitter is the place where people get their news. Please comment down below. And if you really like this channel, you can pledge for this project on Kickstarter. This is the complete Python for finance. Learn to trade, learn about Web3 and the metaverse. This stuff is all extremely relevant to you. And the more money you pledge, the more courses you get. There are 10 different levels designed to take anyone from a complete beginner to knowing everything about machine learning, Python, metaverse, Web3, everything that there is here. So it's a really, really good bundle of courses that you can get here. And again, the more money you pledge, the more courses you get from our previous Kickstarter series. So please pledge today. It really does help our channel when you pledge for this project. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another video.